In Dashur, northern Egypt, the sealed burial chamber of a pyramid is being opened for the first time. So I'm now uh, in the middle of the queue of people trying to get to see this. The team are struggling to raise the 10-ton capstone that the pyramid builders were determined should never be moved. Finally, after three days of effort, the tomb is about to give up its secrets for the first time in almost 4,000 years. That's not what I was expecting. Although the chamber was totally sealed, its contents are in disarray. There's a decorated wooden box inside there, and its position suggests that it's not exactly where you would expect it to have been. There's a, there's a niche at the back. Perhaps it's fallen down, perhaps it's been disturbed. There's also a lot of debris on the ground, so it's going to be a while, I think, before we can untangle what's going on. The archaeologists hope to be unveiling treasure. But now, there's a mystery to solve. It seems the burial chamber was completely intact. There was no way that anybody could have got in, and everything should be still in place. And it's not. It's disturbed, and there are things missing. It's becoming clear they've stumbled upon an ancient crime scene. Dr. Chris Norton is piecing together all the evidence to solve the ancient mystery. How was the pyramid's sealed burial chamber robbed? There was no way into that uh, burial chamber. There's no evidence of any point of entry. So there's no evidence that robbers got in but the blocking stone was lifted and inside it's disturbed and there are things missing. There was no mummy, but there were bones. So someone was buried here. And there were clues to the owner's identity. Parts of coffin of a woman wearing the Hathor wig. We have a canopic chest, series of inscriptions, enough to say that we have the daughter of a king and a fragment of text was recovered gave us the name of pharaoh Ameni Kamal. the princess lived 3700 years ago a period of turmoil and unrest there is one possibility which is that actually the robbery occurred before that final blocking stone came down so we can perhaps imagine that the mummy of our princess is ready. High-ranking priests would be involved. The rituals are performed. And then the final act would be to inter the mummy itself inside the tomb. If there was a robbery at this point, it was performed with the knowledge, at least, of some of those people who were involved in the ceremony. In these troubled times, even the most upstanding and reverent priest could be turned to crime. They took her treasures, smashed open her coffin, and even defiled her mummy to get at the precious jewelry on her body before sealing the tomb for eternity. The final great irony here is that the system of sand hydraulics, which was intended to prevent robbers from getting in, would also have prevented the burial from being inspected. This was the perfect crime.